Morgan, one of the occupational therapy students from KU Med at the American Stroke Foundation. And today's video is going to be all about hydration. Um, I'm going to talk about the importance of it and show you guys some recipes and tips and tricks to stay hydrated during this time. So I'm about to head on my walk for the day. You saw me filling up my water bottle. I've got it right here. I'm gonna drink some and then I'm probably gonna fill it up again before I head out for my walk so I can bring it on my walk and stay hydrated while I'm there. So follow along with me. halfway done with my walk and I found a bench so I decided to sit down so that way I could drink some more water and stay hydrated. Um, did you guys know that 60% of your body is made up of water which is quite a bit so that requires a lot of um, water that we take in daily to stay hydrated. That can be through drinking water out of a water bottle. I really like drinking mine out of my Razorback. Um, cup just because it reminds me of my time in college and it's something fun to carry around. Maybe for you that's KU or K-State. I know we've got a lot of those fans or Mizzou or something like that but that can be really helpful if you have a water bottle that you want to carry around. You can show it off to people and um, people can ask you questions about it and it's something fun. show you guys how I like to spice up my water to make it more interesting than just drinking regular water. So now I have switched to a still a reusable water bottle but this one has a straw in it. I really like the straw because I feel like it helps me drink more water throughout the day. It's easier to carry around. I don't have to try to twist on and off the lid each time I want to drink water. I can just use a straw. If you don't have a cup with a straw, um, you can just get like a regular glass or a plastic cup and just put one of your own straws in it. There are a lot on Amazon or you can go to like Walmart and just pick up some straws there. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer to show you what I like to add to my water. You can add more of the ingredients or less of the ingredients, whatever you like. If you're not um, as interested in citrus things, then you could add some strawberries. I have some strawberries right here. You can just cut them up and put them in. Or if you don't have a lot of fresh fruit on hand, another option is to buy frozen fruit. And so this one is pineapple, mango, strawberries, and papaya. And you can just put a couple pieces of your fruit in your water this way as another way to make your water more interesting. Another option if you don't like regular water, if you want, you can try using sparkling water. So this one that my family and I like to drink is called Spindrift. This is the raspberry lime flavor, but there are tons of flavors. A sparkling water is basically just a carbonated water with some fruit or fruit flavors into it. If you like things like Coke or Pepsi, this is a great alternative because it's still that carbonated flavor 
um, an experience, but it's water and so it's keeping you hydrated. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you guys how to make these fruit ice pops. Again, just like the fruit infusion water, you can add whatever fruit you want. Today I'm gonna to be doing some strawberries and some blueberries. I don't have fresh blueberries. I'm just gonna be using frozen and I'm gonna add um, water in them. I think I'm gonna try one of them too by adding some of the um, Spindrift um, sparkling water that I showed you earlier, just to kind of mix things up. And so to get started, all I'm gonna do is cut up some fruit. And while I'm doing that, if you don't have like these, let me show you. If you don't have these like plastic containers or something similar, you can just use an ice cube tray, which I'm gonna show you. This one is, <laughs> it's Razorbacks. Um, if you didn't already notice that I went to Arkansas. And, or you can use regular ice cube tray or just like a plastic cup and you can put a popsicle stick, one of those wood popsicle sticks in there. And so yeah. So did you guys know that if you are feeling thirsty, then most of the time that means that you're already dehydrated. So I know a lot of us, including me, I will forget about drinking water and then I'll be like, wow, I'm really thirsty. And that means that you're already dehydrated. Other symptoms of dehydration include dizziness, confusion, um, a change in your blood pressure, fatigue, bad breath, less frequent urination or changes in the color of your urine, like dark colors. Heart palpitations or changes in your heart rate are other common symptoms of dehydration. Like I said earlier, your body is made up of 60% of water, which is quite a bit. And your, the water in your body helps regulate your blood pressure, um, just the flow of your blood. It helps um, regulate all your organs and muscles, parts of your body that rely on water to function. This is a graphic that shows some additional benefits of staying hydrated, such as being a fatigue buster, so helping you maintain your energy throughout the day, a brain booster, which can help with your cognition, and also a joint greaser, which just means that it helps your body move more fluidly, which is very important. Okay, there's my strawberries. I'm just going to put a few blueberries out here. I'm not going to cut these up just because they're already small and they're kind of frozen so I don't think it'd be safe for me to try to use my knife on them right now. So I'm going to take one of my containers and I'm going to fill it with a few blueberries, some strawberries, maybe a few more blueberries. And then it's just a cup of water that I have. So if you're like me and you have a hard time remembering to drink water, make sure that you keep it with you at all times. So the one I just made is right here and I'm, take, I'm taking sips of it every once in a while. I carry it around wherever I go. If you're still having trouble with it, you could set a reminder on your phone. You could download a water app and there's a ton. If you just search water tracker in your app store or Google Play, there's a lot on there. If you'd rather just have it in person, you can put something on your refrigerator where it just says, have I drank water? How much water have I had today? Or remember to drink water wherever you are. You could also do a challenge with some family members or one of your friends, whatever that would look like for you guys. Um, just keeping each other accountable for drinking your water for the day. Great, look, I put the lid back on this one. I'm gonna add it here. And then I'm gonna show you that you can do ice cubes too. So I'm just, I have an ice cube tray. I'm just gonna do a couple. This would be great too, to do with some of your um, family members. If you have grandkids or nieces and nephews, as the summer is winding up and it's becoming 90 degrees every day, might be a good idea to have some of these on hand as a fun way to enjoy a treat, but also stay hydrated.
For these, I'm going to try using my sparkling water. I'm just going to fill them up. There we go. Then I'm going to add these to the freezer and I'll let you guys know how they turn out. So while the ice pops are freezing in the freezer, I decided to come outside to get some work done. I brought my water with me because like I said earlier, when you're it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So I'm going to keep it next to me. And I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about heat stroke. So heat stroke can happen during this time of year, especially when the temperatures are increasing. So right now we're averaging like 90, but it can get up to 100 as we know in Kansas and Missouri. And so I wanted to mention um, just how important it is to be aware of some of the symptoms of heat stroke. If you're spending a lot of time outside and in the prolonged heat, maybe you're working really hard outside and um, you're not staying hydrated, then you can develop some of these symptoms. They, I'm going to put up a little graphic so you can look at it while I talk about it. As this graphic shows, some of the symptoms include not sweating, um, such as you're so dehydrated that your body is not sweating, dry, hot, or red skin, extreme dizziness or headache, incoherence or sometimes even unconsciousness, nausea, vomiting, or a fast, strong pulse, so like a fast heart rate. So if you are experiencing some of these symptoms or if someone near you is, especially if they're unconscious, you need to call 911. It's really um, an emergency and important to get the help that you need. If the symptoms are less severe, then just get inside in any air conditioning or in shade if you don't have air conditioning. Drink water, remove any excess clothing, um, do anything that you can to cool off your body, if it's a fan, if that's an ice pack, whatever it is, um, just to get your body temperature down so that way you are not experiencing the symptoms anymore. Hey guys, so my ice cubes and my ice pops have set up. I went ahead and added my ice cubes to a glass of water and I really liked how they turned out with the fruit in there and it was the sparkling water with mixed in and I think they turned out really good. And then the other thing that I made were the ice pops and those also turned out really great. Look how fun they look. Um, just a way to stay hydrated, that's fun and that tastes good and it's not just sitting drinking water all day long. So the final recipe I have for you guys is a water-based fruit smoothie. So I have half a banana, two-thirds to one cup of frozen fruit. This can be anything. This is peaches, mangoes, and pineapple. A cup of water, a fourth of a cup of orange juice, and a little bit of honey. So I'm just going to put that all in here and blend it up. So this is the final product. If you want, you can substitute any of your favorite smoothie recipe and just instead of adding milk or juice, substitute just for a little bit of water and then you can get some of your water for the day with your smoothies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned about why it's important to stay hydrated and just some signs of heat stroke to be aware of this summer. If you try one of these recipes, be sure to let me know and I hope you guys enjoy it.